Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to do my update on the noise in the dashboard. Welcome to this new video. So last year I posted a video on a really annoying ticking noise in the upper corner of the dashboard. I wasn't able to do an update as with the colder weather the noise disappeared. But now with the spring back in Belgium and the hotter weather the noise came back as well. So to troubleshoot a noise it is always better to have two people in the car, one driving, another one testing and trying around. And I noticed while driving, when I push here or on the top of there, the noise disappears. So I'm first going to check that option. Otherwise, it also could be the part on top of there, the tweeter, that is hitting something. There's also a part in the cover of the glove box that could be jiggling around and I also already heard people that had just the side panel um, moving a little bit so you really should troubleshoot for yourself have someone driving and another one touching the parts to see whenever you can locate and stop the sound so I'm going to demount this air outlet right now i have to say cars versus cars already made a video about this as well uh, it's only in italian so i will do a remake for myself but i also want to mention that the noise could be caused by something else so in order to remove the air outlet now i'll use this tool to open up the side panel So I had to help a little bit on the upper side in order to remove it. So there you go, the inside. For that I will use this simple duct tape and it will absorb noises as well. So the second best guess is when I reach over in here, I can touch the light of the glove box is a little white thing over here you can see I'm wiggling it around right now and maybe this shakes as well while driving so in order to find the real problem I only will tackle one thing at a time so first I will fix this if this doesn't do the job and stick some adhesive on top of this in order to fix it in place i just put tape around here slightly around here up there especially on those brackets here and here and on the air outtake itself just on the side parts so there and there i think that are the only parts that are in contact and if it works, well, all the credits go to cars versus cars that try this solution first. I just gently slide it back in place. So, and as you can see, there's nothing to see about the tape I just installed. Just close it up now and we will do a test drive to see if it worked. So the trick with the tape didn't work. I still have this rattle noise coming from that zone. So the next step was emptying the glove box completely. Just to check if there wasn't something uh, hitting inside of the glove box. Even with an empty glove box, I still have this sound. Strange enough, if it's open, I don't hear anything. And when it's closed, I heard rattling. So after the last clip, I rearranged my stuff into the glove box 
the car sat in the full sun for an hour or, or two and strange enough afterwards I didn't have any rattling anymore really hard to troubleshoot I opened and closed the glove box several times and rattling reappeared so you almost might think that there is some um, problem with the, the closure um, so next steps now are to remove the glove box to remove the upper part sorry for the sun the upper part and see if I can find any parts that it that are dangling around I will fix the light in the glove box in the same time so it is really easy we remove the panel again there you go put it over here to remove the glove box I already shown that in a different video but it is really easy you undo this little clip on the side and then you simply pull backwards on both sides in order to release it here you can see the inside so in order to remove it, this part we have to undo the three bolts and there are two bolts in the back as well but before doing so I prefer to turn off the airbag in order to do so we have to use the key so there you go put it in and turn it to the left and now it's off so the next part simply uses some force there you go so to remove the light this is pretty easy just pop it in, up there there you go so i placed three layers of insulation tape on both sides and now the lamp holder doesn't move any longer i also noticed when i removed this panel that here this part moves a little bit and here as well so I will also place some tape on this line and over there so in the interior you can see that there are no plastic parts touching each other I checked every cable everything is well fixed here you can see the air vent and in fact it doesn't touch any part around so you can see that I placed the insulation tape over here and over there. So here you can see really well what I was speaking about. This really wiggles around. So I will put some extra tape over there, just here, in order to make it soundproof. All the screws are back in place. And now you can see it doesn't wiggle anymore so the last thing i noticed is the little plastic strut over here from the glove box it also makes this typical rattling noise so the last thing i'm going to try now is fixing this little strut in place so i put some insulation tape around and now this strut doesn't wiggle around anymore so friends after a lot of trial and error I finally find the rattle and I could fix it so it wasn't the air vent it didn't appear to be the little light that wiggles around it didn't appear to be the liner of the glove box it simply was the plastic strut that I fixed in place and now the rattle has gone finally so for yourself try to find the rattle by trail and error and see what works for you don't forget to leave a comment to share and subscribe and I see you in the very next video bye bye